be advised, you are coming in weak and unreadable. Say again, Contower. This is Hacho. Do you read me, okay? Hacho, this is Contower. I read you Lima Charlie. Contower, Contower. Request permission to launch and commence the field up. Over. Stand by. Hacho, permission granted. Say again, permission granted. Hacho that. Launching podcast in three, two. You are now entering the field up with your host, Hacho Correa. Chief Warrant Officer 3, United States Marine Corps retired. Get some. Hurrah. Get some. Hurrah. What's going on, everybody? Another week has gone by, and Baby Friday slash uh, Friday Eve is upon us. And, you know, I'm excited to be here. Now, before we get started, you know, we, we got to get all the, you know, the sponsor stuff out of the way. So this show is brought to you by Castle Global Services. At Castle Global Services, you can, you know, they have an array of uh, many cool products from, you know, you know, internet, Wi-Fi, mobile, residential, commercial. You can put a security system. I think that this month they're having a special on Vivint security systems where you can pretty much automate your entire house with it. And you get the, pa- you get the panel and two cameras uh, for free. Uh, or you can, you know, you go with the panel and the doorbell with the camera where you can talk to people and tell them, you know, get the fuck out of my house and all that good stuff. And you can even record and all that good stuff. So go ahead and check them out. They're at castleglobalservices.acnibo.com. And another product that they have is um, healthcare. So if you're looking for affordable healthcare where you can insure your entire family and ditch, you know, the um, your medical care at work where they charge you, you know, almost $1,000 to put your entire family on, on a network where you got to go see the people that they want you to see, check out Impact. Impact Healthcare right there at the, on the website. Again, go on the residential tab. You see healthcare and uh, slash impact, check, check them out. Put in your information. Somebody from their team will give you a call. No commitment, get all the information, but hey, for under 500 bucks, you can put your entire family on a very affordable medical uh, health plan. And you don't have to see any partners, any doctors, and you know, and in network, out of network, none of that crazy shit. So again, go to, go to castleglobalservices.acnibo.com and get your information. And last but not least, hey, this show is all about you know, you know, supporting the Constitution of the Great U.S. of A. So you know that means that we say whatever we want on this show. We 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 also support you know the right to bear arms. So hey, uh, you know the right the the First Amendment, Second Amendment, and everything else that follows with it. Hey, this show is all about it. So whether it, it doesn't matter which, you know what you know which side of the lake you fall into, you know the left, the right, whatever. Hey, you do you, boo boo. We support you and we respect your your opinion. Hey, if you don't, if this is not you, then swipe left and move on to another show. Perhaps check something out from SitchRadio.com. I podcast that Combat Vet Vision. You know the Todd the Bow Show and many 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 more uh, other shows on there to tickle your fancy. That is. All right. So with that being said, you know, let's let's get on to the good show. Uh, You know, you've heard me talk about before uh, as we, you know, uh, some of the great people that I've I've listened to, follow and kind of put into practice. And I think this show today, um, you know, maybe I should I will listen to my own, you know, to the stuff that I'm about to talk about as well. So it should resonate with me as well. Because, you know, change is inevitable. I mean, it's one of those things that is kind of like, you know, death and taxes. The shit is going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So change is inevitable. The person who I was at the beginning of this show, there's been some change, whether it's physiological, biological, (laughs) mental, whatever the case may be, change is continuous. If you disagree, as a matter of fact, let me go right here in the comments box and, um, if you want to throw in your comments, uh, let me know. And uh, maybe, you know, uh, hey, if we can, and if you want to chime in on, on the show, maybe we can even get uh, uh, Brian to post the, the the link right there and we'll pop you in and we could have a, a discussion on the, on the topic matter. So I throw that invite out to you there into webs, people. So feel free to chime in. But yeah, you know, change is, change is inevitable. You know, change happens, like as I, as I mentioned earlier, all the time. You know, change happens when you know when when there's a loss of somebody, you know, whether it be maybe a family member, a friend, a pet, whatever. You know, change happens when we lose a relationship, when there's a divorce going on. 
uh, when you know you end a five-year relationship with your significant other, or even even uh, you know cutting off ties with loved ones, because sometimes you may have to, we, you know, we may have to do that stuff. I mean, it it happens. It happened, um, and uh, uh, you know, right here on uh, on my side of the world or my personal life. I've, you know, those who uh, I've been very close to, I've had to let those relationships go, even even close close ties and friendships that, you know, we were friends uh, or, you know, family members that we've been all about, you know, together for, you know, family members, you know, my, basically my entire life or just close friends for over 20 years where, you know, we've had to part ways, good or bad, doesn't matter. It just sometimes you just have, you know, again, the whole premise of the show is, um, uh you know it's in regards to change you know what i'm saying so you know the change is uh it is continuous and but the one thing that we do all the time is we fight we fight it through and through you, you know it's it's so hard for us to accept it sometimes um even though we know you know and not to get kind of dark or anything but i mean like I said, death and taxes are guaranteed and we know it, but, and, you know, we do so little to prepare for it or live our life in a matter and way where it can, you know, whenever that change is about to come, if we're transitioning onto the other side or, you know, heaven, whatever, you know, you, you want to be able to look at, you know, hey, did I live a memorable life and be able to look into it and say, okay, you know what, this was, this was pretty cool. I don't know. But e even so on a much different level, when, you know, I'll tell you know when I was going through a re, you know a, a really long divorce it was it, it was you know it was a three year uh, a marathon race basically. Uh, I I just you know I was I kept saying I can't believe this is happening you know you know because again lawyers lawyers are going to drag it out uh, or you know and and the court system is so slow that you know you just want to get through and and we're just kind of dragging instead of just accepting it and saying you know what. Let you know, let let the chips fall where they may, and you know, because this too will pass, right? So you know, it's about the three year mark. It's when when I learned to let go and trying to control the situation in the sense that, man, you know, why is this happening? Because because we we do, you know, when we're when we're you know whether it's good change or bad change, um, you know, most of the time when it's you know something a bad, let's just say a bad change. We try to, you know, just hold on to that past, or, or we're so focused on that on, on that unforeseeable future because a lot of shit. Because tomorrow is not guaranteed, right? We're so focused on that guarantee on that uncontrollable future that we just—it's so hard for us. And I think you've heard me talk about this in the past that, you know, we as the, you know, apex. Uh, I guess to some degree, I say we're, we're the apex predator because we can think and reason. And, you know, among many other things at a much deeper level, although there, you know, there's been proof that, you know, there are animals out there that can think and reason and use, uh, you know, logical thought process. You know, I think, you know, we're the, we're the advanced um, out, out of the bunch. Let's just put it that way. Right. You know, where, you know, we can make ourselves sick just by thought alone. Uh, case in point, <clears throat> you know, you're, you're, you know, I was, <laughs> I'll use this example and he'll, <laughs> You'll probably shoot me for this, you know. When I when I'm you know I moved here to Florida and I you know my brother and I, uh, my little brother and I, who's been on the show, you know we we decided to one day relive, you know the the, the whole kid thing. So uh, I'm sure every town, uh, you know, has some type of fair, right? Like the like like a big type of fair, and, you know. Here they have the the my sorry about that my my dog uh, scratching himself in his cage but so we have the miami dade uh dade county fair right which you know this thing has been part of miami for many 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 years right and they, back in the day they used to have the double loop roller coaster all kind of food you've been to a fair you know what i'm talking about so my brother and i were like hey we're gonna this basically we the plan for that day was destroying ourselves right so we rode we rode just we got the 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 full blown package. We're gonna ride every fucking ride. We're gonna eat, you know. And, and I know you've heard me talk about, you know, losing weight and Noom and all that shit. But th that day was, hey, today no holds bar, right? So we ate 
anything and everything that could, um, you know, that was in our paths, junk food, whatever. And then we rode just about everything. And I think about it, by the fifth or sixth ride, my, you know, my brother's like, hey, dude, I don't think I feel too hot. I'm like, no, nah, you know, I'm giving him shit about it. I'm like, hey, quit being a pussy, man. Come on, man. You know, a fucking Marine, you know, nut up and all that good shit. And I think it was like the 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 last ride we did the uh, the, the, the the second to last ride was the zipper. And you've seen the one, it's the zipper is the, the little rinkety old ride. And it's got the, you're there side by side and the, the rinkety cages and that thing goes up, it, it goes up like this. And then the entire thing just does this weird, you know, spinning around. But that was the, you know, that was it. And then we rode on one last one and that was the fucking nail in the coffin. The dude came out. I mean, he was green as shit. As, and he's like, hey man, I think we should go. I'm like, okay, fine. We walked next to the car. And that's where he lost all his cookies, man. I'm like, Ugh. and you know, I'm seeing this happen. At first, I was laughing. I'm filming him and everything, but then I was like, oh shit. Then I got like the, you know, just by thought alone, I got, oh, I think I'm sick too. And I was like, uh, uh, you know. So case in point, that just we can make ourselves sick by thought alone, because the, our body and our minds, you know, are are they're connected. So you have a thought, and you 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 know, your body doesn't have a you know, it doesn't have, I guess, their, its own brain. So, you know, it'll say, oh, hey, this dude just thought that he's sick. I think we're sick. Yeah, we're pretty much sick. Here we go. Boom. We're going to let it all shit out. Right. So because of that, you know, we can, you know, we can make make ourselves sick, you know, sick. We can, you know, make ourselves. Ha- so we have to be careful, you know, what we think, you know, because it's going to generate some t- something within us. And, and some type of, you know, again, again, you know, that change within ourselves that, you know, good or bad. And, you know, getting back to what I was saying is that we're, you know, we're that type with that being that, you know, it's so hard for us to, you know, remain in the present, in the calm present. Right. So because of this, you know, when, when we have a situation, you know, case in point, getting back to what I was saying uh, about my divorce. You know, the moment, it was the weirdest thing. The moment I just said, hey, you know what? Fuck it, whatever. You know, there's a lesson to be in, to be had, you know, during this whole process. And, you know, it is what it is. Uh, whatever that lesson is, I'm ready for it. I'm re- you know, I'm, I'm bring, you know, basically bring it on. And you know what? Like two days later, I get the call. Hey, uh, you know, the paperwork's done. You're pretty, you know, this it's over, you know. So it was a relief in a sense, but... <clears throat> It was also a relief, you know, for me, because I was trying to hold on to the, trying to control something that, you know, hey, for whatever reason, we just had to go through the through the process, you know. I mean, when we we try to do this all the time with, you know, with our lives, you know, with our jobs, you know, we instead of just, you know, because everything is temporary, folks. Uh, and. And again, you've you've heard me say in the past, and as cliche as this may sound, this too shall, you know, when people say, hey, this too shall pass, it does. You know, over time, you know, we, you know, if there's a loss, yes, you you may, you know, you may remember that individual. You may, uh, you're, there's still, you know, again, there's still a part of us because, excuse me, the, um, there's an emotion and a feeling associated with, again, we're talking about a loss. You know, associated with that individual, or even a moment for that matter, you know that there's a thought and a there's a feeling and an emotion associated with with that individual, with that place, uh, you know, <clears throat> with you know that time, that time and moment that you know because of that, you know, it's it's hard for us to sometimes you know let go. You know, it doesn't mean that you know that we we're gonna forget completely about it, but the moment you accept you accept it. It's just easier for us to go through the process, so to speak. You know, let me let me ask you, and this is just a question for everybody, and maybe you know you haven't experienced this. Uh, you know, oh, sorry about that. You haven't. I clicked on something else. You know, you have. You know, you have that ex, an experience or a moment, or you met somebody that they just can't let let you know let go of of, of something. Or they're so they're constantly just living in the, in the past, and they're like, yes, you know, yes, it's because of this. Oh, I, I'm, you know, I'm alone because of X, Y, Z, and I was married, and blah, 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 and then you just, 
you're being around somebody like that. And then before you know it, you're just kind of like your energy is just kind of like sucked out of you. You know, I call, I call those emotional vampires, right? Those, those people that, you know, don't want to fucking change and they're just stuck in the past and, you know, not being able to move on. And sometimes, you know, you, 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 you know, you get sucked in on this, on, on, on that conversation or that, or that thought, and then you start bringing back, you know, oh yeah, I remember because of this. And then now, you, now you're share, you know, now you're doing the whole ping pong, you know, who has the shittier story uh, uh, in regards to, you know, why haven't you changed? And then my life is so bad because of this, this person, because of my boss, because of that individual, you know, and. So instead of just saying, hey, you know what? You know, it's it's just a moment in time. It's just, you know, it's one of the things that we have to go through in order for us to be able to, you know, move on and accept the process and the change. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you want to look at it more in, in a, I guess in a more deeper level, you know, and again, not, you know, not not saying that it's, it's wrong or bad, but you know, you've met, you know. Sometimes, you know, people, it's hard for us to accept the um, aging. I mean, I'll be, I'll be dead honest with you. Uh, <clears throat> when I first, uh, I started noticing more and more uh, that I've gotten, you know, that I was aging, uh, you know, was in, you know, I'm, I just turned 49 and, and, boop, boop, and I'm proud of it. You know, next, next year, you know, who, you know, I'll, you know, I'll be turning five zero. I mean, I'll be half a century old, which I think is pretty cool uh, in in a way that, you know, you know, back you know many many years ago, be, to be fifty years old, it was like, oh man, you, you know, you're old as shit. But I think, in my opinion, you know, forties and fifties is kind of like the new thirties. Uh, you know, some of you may disagree, but I don't know. I think I can I can analyze things better. Um, you know, I can compare. You know, things just kind of make sense. Uh, in my, the learning curve for me, I don't know, just I, I absorb things a, a little better and I could comprehend, you know, things that were difficult when I was younger, you know, so, but, you know, but, you know, a couple of years ago, I started notice, noticing different things like, you know, not that I'm going through puberty or anything, but my voice th- does sound uh, to me, it does sound a little different. It, it's more crackly. Um, yeah, it, it's not as, uh, as crisp. At, and, you know, maybe it's just me, but it doesn't sound as crisp, crisp as, you know, when I was in my, you know, my 20s and 30s. I don't know. I just, I, it started out, and that's when I noticed at first. It started out with, with my voice. Um, you know, I've always had, well, you know, when I was in America, I couldn't have a beard, but, you know, my mustache had, had a couple of, you know, a little bit of pepper, pepper, you know, pepper action going. So it was no big deal. It was, it was part of the process. But, you know, one day I was, uh, you know, another thing that I noticed, you know, again, this change is I was struggling with, you know, with aging. Um, you know, one day I was kind of working out in front of the TV and I'm, a big, I, and I'm, I'm still a big Tony Horton fan, P90X, you know, all that good shit and all the, you know, all, all the funny quotes. But I was working out in front of the TV and, um, you know, I, I looked down and I thought I had cat hair because we at that time we used to have this shitty ass cat, uh, you know, hashtag rest in peace, Coco. You know, we used to have this cat. And um, anyways, I thought it was cat hair. So, I was, you know, I was kind of in the middle of the workout, but I kept wiping off, you know, my so I'm like, goddamn cat, you know. And then before I look, then I stopped and I'm like, oh, shit, that's me, you know. So, you know, I, I was like, oh, goddamn. But, yeah, it's, it all started with my voice. And I was like, ah, damn, I'm getting older. You know, God, this sucks. You know, and, you know, all the other things that come with it, aches and pains, whatever the case may be. But, yeah, I, you know, I think I think a lot of us, or maybe I'm wrong, but, you know, a large large quantity of us you know struggle you know with getting getting older and accepting like oh fuck you know i can't i remember when you know even in my 30s i was still able to do a lot of the gymnastics things that i grew up doing i was still able to do it you know even to this day i mean i'll go to trampoline i won't try that shit on the ground fuck no but hey, i'll go to a trampoline park and i'll throw down i'll do some things here and there you know just kind of make myself you know good feel good a little bit that hey i still i still got it but I'm not going to go ahead and try that shit on the grass. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, a lot of struggle with, with getting older. I mean, if you don't believe me, well, fuck, to, you know, take a look at, you know, how many plastic surgeons are out there that both men and women, you know, hey, I want to look younger. Or, hey, and by no means, you know, am I throwing shade on you? Hey, you know, if, if you got, if, if, that's, if that makes you happy, 
hey, do you, you know, because again, we only live one lifetime. So you might as well make, make it, you know, make it, make it count, make it, you know, and go out, go out with a bang. I mean, you know, you got people in their, you know, in the later, later stages in life that still look, you know, with, with or without surgery, they still look good. They feel good. And I think we've, as a population as a whole, they were living longer. And, and, you know, one of the main reasons, one technology and, you know, better healthcare and many other, and, and other, you know, advances that help us reduce that change, so to speak. And, and, uh, you know, we're, we're a lot more active, um, than, than before. I mean, fuck, I remember when I first came into the Marine Corps where a sergeant, I mean, them motherfuckers used to look like they were, you know, 90 years old. I mean, walking around smoking, you know, Marlboro Reds, you know, a coffee cup in one hand or Newports. I, God damn, I used, to, I used to smoke it. But I remember them dudes used to look salty and aged. I don't know if if the Marine Corps used to just kind of like, ah, oh, you know what, let's stick him in this little, you know, aging machine. Yeah, there you go. Oh, now you look like a sergeant. Go ahead and make everybody's life fucking miserable. For, you know? And if, it, if you were a gunny, I mean, you look like you were over 100 years old. I mean, that was like back in the day. But now I look at these, you know, these guys, I'm like, God damn, you know, they look like little kids, you know? So. But yeah, you know, change, it's, it's hard to accept. And, you know, what are some of the things, you know, and, and when we try to cope with it, it, it even though we, we try to fight it, you know, so what, what can you do uh, to fight change? You know, practicing mindfulness and being, you know, an ex, and, and, you know, that's one of, one of the things that, you know, I, I too practice that, you know, you've heard me say, say before, you know, meditation is great. And it doesn't mean that you're going to be floating in the air, you know, in a, you know, with your feet crossed in the lotus position and, you know, you get your fingers like this and you're like, Aum, and you can no. but it just kind of, it kind of helps your mind to settle a little, little bit and be in the present moment. You know, that's one way that you can, that'll help you, you know, deal with change. Another, another way is, you know, talking about it, you know, talking with a therapist, um, whether you have an anxiety about transitioning from, you know, which is a huge change, by the way. You're having uh, anxiety um, about getting out of the military, whether you've done four years or whether you've done over 20 years, you know, it's still a big change, you know, you because, you know, technically in a way, it's like, yeah, you even though you move through time uh, and on a, in a lot of aspects, and I think it makes more, it, it, this makes, you know, as I'm saying that out loud, a little bit more sense for me, because even though um, I was you know, when I, when I, when I ended up retiring of the Marine Corps 2014, um, you know, and yeah, there was the technology, I, you know, the phones, apps, this and that, everything was out there. But I think we become in this bubble in this like time hold bubble when you're in the service where yes, yeah, time is going on, whatever. We're still kind of, you know, in this, in that, in this bubble where we're, you know, you know, we're, I'm not saying we're drinking the Kool-Aid, but we're living in this separate world where you're kind of going, you know, by what your NCO says, your staff NCO, these things, and you know, you know, resumes, and you know, the the private sector is moving in one direction, and you're kind of you're not because you're living the, again in this world. So as you're getting ready to transition out, it's like, oh shit, you know, what do I need to do? How do I prepare? You know, I'm married. How? Where am I going to get my kids in school? You know, oh my god, and I got to do a resume, and I got to do interviews, you know, those type of things, you know, it's, it's huge. I know I went through it and I know some of my fellow retirees that listen to the show, I know they've gone through some of the same angst. I mean, and Hey, even if you're a first, you know, first termer, you're going through that change in the sense like, Oh my God, you know, I, I didn't go to school. I was doing, you know, I was out there kicking doors down, you know, you know, busting heads and putting rounds down range in the, in the name of freedom. You know, now I got to, you know, that's, that's going to stop. And now I got to, you know, now I got to be, uh, go back to the private sector and, oh my God, I got to go to school. I got to enroll. I don't know how to do any of this shit where, you know, the common, per you know, kid out there can, will be able to you know do that. So, you know, all those things can, you know, can bring a lot of stress. Uh, and, you know, when you're, when you're going through a transitional period or change, uh, whatever you want to call it, it just, it, add, it adds more you know, more stress to you. And then that's when things, you know, start kind of going wrong. You know, I know, you know, when I have, uh, you know, added undue stress, my body reacts, you know, differently. It, you know, I, 
you know, I don't need, you know, I don't, I don't need as regular. I kind of, you know, I just kind of like start in, in a way like, oh shit. And then, you know, and then that's when, you, when it leads to other things like ruminating your, you know, you start kind of like talking, you know, and, and, you know, again, those thoughts, all those, all those things that negative things that you start saying to yourself, you know, you're, you know, man, you're, you know, God damn, how, how you know, why could I, you know, why, why was I so dumb? Why did I do this? You're so stupid, you know, and, and believe it or not, it, like the saying goes, you know, the, your body keeps tabs and, and you start believing that stuff and your body starts reacting to it. Like, and, and before you know it, you know, because now you got, you, you're, you're in the stop process. Now you're depressed. You know, you have the, you know, you start having, I, you know, God forbid you start having ideations and, you know, many, many other things that, you know, and you start going into that dark place, you know, somebody else, you know, they, you may start getting sick. Uh, because you know, again, your body is releasing, you know, all, all, all those negative talks, you know, and 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 that everything is a chemical reaction. You, thoughts are a chemical reaction. That's that's a scientific that's scientific scientifically proven. Thoughts, emotions, those are chemical reactions associated with that. Case in point, you feel ha- you know when we feel you know extremely happy, you know it, you feel this sens- this sensation you know that oh man it, it's it, you're lightheaded because you're laughing so hard extreme or you're in love is that's a chemical reaction where you feel the butterflies and all that good shit you feel or when you know on the other side of the coin you know you feel you feel sad you're depressed you're crying all this you know again all those are chemical reactions that you know they just have a word associated to it if that if that makes um, if that makes change so we have to be careful, uh, you know, with with our thought process. Yes, even even the most positive person in the world is gonna is gonna feel negative and have a shitty day. Yes, that's that's natural. It's how you you know how you cope and how you accept that you know that change or whatever it is that's going on at that at that moment in time, without you know start digging in the past. Or you know, or or try to control the that unforeseeable future, or trying to or trying to determine an unseen unforeseeable outcome, and remaining present and be able to say, hey, you know what? I'm having I'm having a I'm having a moment right now, or I'm going through something right now, uh, whether it's pleasant or unpleasant. Uh, I'm just gonna you know I'm here. Yes, it's uh, you know I'm I don't like it, whatever. But we're you know we're gonna get through it. Or another way is reaching out to you know to a friend, a buddy. Uh, a battle buddy, or you know, or like we said in, in in the Marine Corps, you know, at, you know, your guardian angel, whoever that may be, or if you're, you know, if you're going through the stuff, um, uh, you know, your stuff, the twelve step process, a sponsor, a counselor, whoever that may be, you know, reach out to, you know, lean, lean on those individuals, lean on your, in, onto your support system, and be able to share and say, hey, you know what, I'm going through something. Uh, I don't, I don't need you, you know, I, I just need somebody to listen to me or a shoulder to lean my head on and that, you know, and that's it. You know, because sometimes uh, we don't need, it. we don't need the logic. Oh, well, you know, it's because, you know, you're having a thought process, a chemical reaction or, oh, well, you know, it's because, you know, that person is a drug, is, is a drug addict. No, you don't want to hear that shit. You just want to be able to put your head on their shoulder, maybe cry a little and that person to just, you know, you know, put their hand uh, right there, you know, on your cheek, or just give you a hug and say, "Hey, I don't, you know, it. I know it's tough. I'm here. That's all I want to say, and that's it. And and, and you, sometimes you just want to hear that, and that you don't want to hear an outcome, a, a solution. You just you just want somebody to just be there, and that's it. Be, you know, have some to let you know, have them help you carry their load, you know, your load for a little bit. You know what I mean? So if you're, you know, if you're going through, you know, something right now, hey, by all means uh, that, you know, you think you're, you're struggling with, you know, reach, you know, I always throw it out there, you know, feel free to, you know, you know, throw it on the, you know, send me a, a direct message, and send me a, a PM, whether it's on here on LinkedIn, you guys know my Francisco Correa Hernandez, that's on LinkedIn on social, you know, we're on Instagram and everything. So reach out to us, you know, in that way, you know, uh, as a, and again, we're getting ready to wrap, wrap up the show, but you know, when I say that shit, 
I mean it. It's not it's not a cliche that I'm saying, hey, reach out to those. You know, no, you're 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 a fellow, you're a fellow veteran. Combat, not combat, doesn't fucking matter. We want you here. So, you know, I just want to say, hey, once again, great, great Marine Corps show last week. That was fucking awesome. It was a lot, you know, right here in Miami, it was over 2,000 people. Uh, I, I had to leave because after the cake cutting ceremony, I said it was just too much cigars, which is great, whatever. But it, it was just too much for me. But we had a great time. And I hope you celebrate the Marine Corps birthday in a great way. The holidays are coming up. Uh, and, you know, the Veterans Day was also passed. So, hey, spend the time with your family. Spend the time with the loved ones. And if you don't have a place to go, let me know. We'll see. Wherever the fuck you're at, I'll, I'll try to find you a place. I'll find you somewhere where you can eat some chow. All right, everybody. So next week, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving show. Uh, we'll see what happens then, okay? So at that place, in, in that case, is right now it's Index. Hurrah. Get some. And I'll see you next week. Adios. Daisuke. Aishitimasu.